Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to have a look at how to uh, do a mail merge, but we're going to be using different sources or different files of data to do the mail merge. And it actually all just works the same way. So I'm just gonna show you how it works with three different types of files. We have a CSV file, uh, an Excel spreadsheet or XLSX file, and a Microsoft Access database file as well. The first one I'm gonna show you, okay, I've already set this up as a label mail merge setup. So I've got name, surname, and email, and I'm gonna use a CSV file to do this. So I'm gonna to go to mailings, uh, select recipients, use an existing list. I'm now going to browse to the list. Right, here I am in the list, and I can see here I've got my uh, subscribers.csv file. That's the file that I'm going to use as my source for this mailing list, uh, for, for this mail merge, sorry. Uh, if I was doing a mailing list, so there you go. Click open, the connection is made, and you can see that uh, the all the labels have already been updated with next record, next record, and all I do now is insert the merge fields. So click, there's the first name, click, there's the last name, and the email address, and what's left? Update the labels, let's have a look, update labels, fantastic, and preview the results. That is exactly what I want. Let's do the same thing now using, and I'll just go right back to where we were, uh, using the Microsoft Access Database instead. And see if you can see if anything is different. So select recipients, use an existing list. I'm gonna go and browse to the list. Here I am in the list and I have got subscribers.accdb. That's my Microsoft Access Database. And in this database, I have a table called subscribers. At least I think it's called subscribers. Right, click on open, connected, next record updated. Let's have a look, insert merge field. There they are, it's already read the field, uh, the fields. Here are first name, last name, and email. So actually, as you can see guys, it's actually pretty easy to connect to any file that is compatible with importing into Word for a mail merge. So files like Excel spreadsheets, CSV files, text files that are separated by commas or tabs or spaces, and um, Microsoft Access files that have a table with fields and stuff. And it's, it's that easy.